Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you my art journey in 2020. We're coming to the end of this year. Every new year is a new beginning of our fresh 365 days. I know that most people think and believe that 2020 was the worst year ever, if not one of the worst years in their lifetime. I also know that this year has impacted the lives of many people, the way we interact with each other, the work from home arrangement, we've been missing traveling, meeting friends, walking in the streets without the masks on, going to the gym, and working out with our friends. So basically all that we used to have and used to do. But today, I'm not going to enumerate to you all the negative things that resulted from 2020 as far as I am concerned. Let's make this place a positive haven for artists and for those who love painting and art in general. So today I decided to share with you how 2020 has impacted my life as an artist. With the work from home arrangement, I got closer to my art materials, meaning I had more time to really use them and create. Almost all interaction has become virtual and that gave me more reason to create my own YouTube channel to connect to people worldwide through painting. It was a huge move on my part that changed absolutely the game for me. The first half of year 2020 was filled with emotional experiences. I had to leave South Korea after six years of living there. I think I was reborn in Seoul. I found myself in Seoul. I left not because I wanted to leave Seoul. 
I had to leave Seoul because that's how my job goes. During the last few weeks before I left, I rarely made paintings because I had to meet good friends of mine to bid farewell. So yeah, definitely an emotional time for me. It was the hardest of the hardest times because I was doing all the packing and moving out stuff. But I also had to say goodbye. So it was like doing something I had to do, but I really didn't like to. This really put me to the test. I had to make sure I would not break down while accomplishing the tasks I needed to finish before I left. When I came back to my home country, I decided to live on my own and continue the independent life Korea has taught me. It was just liberating to be responsible for my own life and not depending on anyone to make me feel complete and okay. During my first few weeks, I must admit that I was on and off, sad and happy. I was missing my friends in Seoul, but I always told myself that they probably miss me too and that the memories we had, we will treasure for the rest of our lives. I continued to paint and paint and paint almost every day. I always reminded myself that life is so short and I can never go back to the same exact moment ever again. 